Oh, we showed him your ninnies. Good morning. <laughs> say the YouTube fam never gets to see this, but if you follow me on the Simply Snooters, you see it all the time. The best wake up call in the world. Oh my gosh, look at that new. And this cute little tail. Good morning. Oh, 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 oh. Hi. Hi. Oh, watch your face. Watch your face. Hi. <laughs> Are you ready to eat your breakfast? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, come on. Let's go. This nice girl. Look at this nice girl. Hi. Hi, sis. Oh, so nice. Oh, that's so nice. Very good. Yeah. So we're gonna go, we're gonna eat our breakfast and then we're gonna go on a walk together, okay? Oh, big stretch. Okay, good morning. Hi, friend. Oh, good girl. just ate my breakfast and I'm gonna actually take the girls for a walk together today obviously Eliza will be muzzled but um, you know last summer and before everything happened that's what they did every single morning like literally every single morning we would wake up and go together on our walk it was just like a part of our routine and I feel like that really helped their bonding and just their overall relationship so I really want to start doing that just I have to do it early before like there's too much going on in the neighborhood so that's what I'm gonna do is start this vlog today I hope the weather's nice so you can play in your pool today what do you think <gasps> yeah oh. okay so welcome to today's video I don't really know what I'm doing today I'm just gonna kind of hang out and bring you guys along with me yeah, but we're ready. Look at how cute they are. I can't take it. Walk went great. I need to show you these bushes because they're a hot mess and I haven't trimmed them since like, I don't know, last summer. This is on my list of things to do today. So, you know, we're just going to get it done before it rains. This is going to rain today, but it's literally beautiful outside. I'm so lit for this weather right now. It's not Old boy across the street is going to check to see if he has a... Uh, hedge trimmer is charged because Dave wasn't home so not oh wait there's a little guy sticking up out of there but i mean look at that pristine pristine bushes <laughs> okay, so i finished that and now i'm gonna go to the gym to do my weightlifting stuff because austin's sleeping and i don't want to be slamming around the uh barbell on the floor while he is asleep taking his morning nap in between clients and plus I have an eyebrow appointment at 11 30 so I just figured after I'm done with that I'm just gonna go right there to my eyebrow appointment I will tell you and obviously those of you who know me well enough I was really struggling with the seasonal depression this year um I already struggle with depression as it is and take medication for it but this winter was way worse than the winter before like it is literally almost may and this is the first time we've had over 60 degree weather like it's been just cold the week that philip was here tattooing me it was 35 40 
just like unbearable. And so finally, now that it's starting to warm up, it is absolutely incredible to see the effect that it has on my mental health and just like my overall mood to feel that like sun and warmth, you know? Oh my God. So anyways, I'm gonna go do that, head to the gym, and then we'll get our eyebrows done, come back, do more work. I really wanna show you the pool, so I'm really hoping that it stays warm and doesn't actually rain so I can show you the kiddie pool that I got them yesterday. So let's go Leah. did my workout I actually had enough time so I stopped at fresh blends and got a cracker jack smoothie so now I'm going to jump on the highway go get my eyebrows done real quick I just needed to be uh, touched up a little bit not microbladed or anything just a little bit of what is going on here uh, tinting the eyebrows need to get tinted and just cleaned up so that's what I'm gonna do and then it's doesn't quite look like rain yet today so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I'm gonna be able to do a little bit more yard work and let the dogs hang out by the pool so I'm gonna go get my eyebrows done and I will see you bitches when I get back. <laughs> well, it's not sunny, but we're gonna show him the pool anyway, right? Oh no, what happened here? Oh, you want your ball? Okay, well, play some fetch. It's really, it looks like it's gonna rain, but it didn't, so I guess there's no pool time, but this is their little setup that I put with the umbrella. <laughs> so, Bailey will just play fetch for a little bit. So cute. Look at you go with your ball. It's not really that sunny out, so we can't go in the pool. I know. Maybe tomorrow, okay? 
Meanwhile, she's playing with herself. <laughs> so it is three o'clock, just knocked out three hours of clients and my leftover homework from Sunday. And I am caught up for the day, which I'm super excited about. And I put everything away for the three hours. I'm so proud of myself. One thing that I have been literally struggling so much with lately, and I kind of touched on this on Instagram. If you saw my Instagram story, I think it was last week. I've been really struggling with like feeling readily accessible because of social media like all the time and it's a really overwhelming feeling of anxiety for me like that i am not like doing enough which i already struggle with like on a whole nother issue i struggle with just like chilling i feel like i need to be doing something at all times 24 7 like a task being productive whether it's school or clients cleaning projects dogs training like i mean it is so bad. It's it's like a bad habit, but it's good because I'm productive, but it doesn't really address the underlying issue. And then it creates this deeper issue for me, which is then like getting overwhelmed with like being at everybody's quick reach all the time. And it's weird because like with social media, that's literally like how it happens. Like anybody can DM me, anybody can comment anything, you know, which has its perks, but then like combining that with everything else outside of social media, I reached a point last week, which is honestly, I mean, I know Philip was here, but that's one of the reasons I didn't post a video last Thursday because like, I just was feeling so like pressed to do things, but I'm, I was really like putting that pressure on myself. Just like a weird overwhelming feeling of like, okay, I need to set boundaries and I'm so bad at it. I'm bad at it with relationships, friendships, family members. I am so terrible at being like, no, like I'm not doing this or like, no, this is not okay with me. I don't know why it's just, you know, <laughs> that's on childhood trauma, baby. No, really, like I struggle so bad with setting boundaries. So that is one of my goals for this year is to really, really work on setting my boundaries, both personal, work, friendships, family, all of the above. And so today when I got back, I was like, I am not answering any comments, DMs, anything. For the next three hours, I'm getting all of this shit done. And then that's it. And I did it. That's what I want to share. So if you struggle setting boundaries, let me know. You guys are my people. So anyways, <laughs> long-winded um, little mental health blurb for you there. But uh, so I am going to do a 30-minute run on the treadmill because I didn't get to do any type of like cardio this morning. It's so funny now like how my days used to be like, you know, like if you've been around since the Florida days, you know, my day was like CrossFit, 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 weightlifting, CrossFit, CrossFit, coaching, CrossFit, CrossFit, CrossFit. And now I'm like, oh, guess I better squeeze in a 30 minute cardio session. <laughs> Funny how life changes like that, isn't it? So anywho, that is the day today. Austin is gone all day today. He won't be back until seven. So it's very quiet up in here. It's just me and the dogs hanging out. That's it. That's my day today. Right, Taxi? Okay, let's change and go run. Okay, it's dinner time for everyone. It's dinner time for me. And I gotta edit this video and get it up. Oh, before I forget, I'm going to link the run that I just took by Olivia Amato on Peloton. You do not need to um, have a Peloton tread to do these tread boot camps or running or anything. Oh, it's finally raining, by the way. <laughs> I just did this run, it's called a breakthrough run. And I love that Peloton talks openly about mental health and anxiety and all that stuff. And she was like talking about getting through, like listening to your anxious thoughts in your head that it always is like what if what if what if so it was just a really inspiring run and made it go by really quick and there was broken up into three segments highly recommend i'm going to put it in the description box so you can check it out if you want to um i really wish peloton would sponsor me because i freaking love them anyways i'm gonna make some dinner look at these tostadas okay that's like restaurant quality tostada right there you got true yellow corn I forget what these are called. Maybe they are just called tostadas. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Shrimp, shredded lettuce, mango peach salsa, a tiny little bit of cotija cheese, and a little bit of this, like, it's kind of like a fake Thousand Island dressing, but are you joking? Look at that. Chef's kiss. I don't know about you guys. I like to have a crunchy vehicle for whatever protein source I'm having, especially if the protein source is kind of soggy. Not that shrimp are soggy, but like they're just not, I don't know, they're not great texturally. You know what I mean? That's a wrap for me. I'm gonna shower, put my jammies on, 
Tonight's Wednesday, so a new episode of 600 Pound Life. I do the rest of my clients. <laughs> and that's a wrap for me, you guys. So hope you have a great day today when you're watching this. And please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and click subscribe to never miss Monday with Manners and Thursday today because I had time to film today. Love ya.